Hi Fire Science, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your weeklies for this coming week of August 20th until the 26th, 2023. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information as well as the link to my new book, Accepting the Gift, is down below in the description box below. So let's get started here. We're going to start off first for the sign of Leo. Leo. I literally heard standing your power and making decisions about a uh, possible Gemini, but more so I'm feeling more a twin flame relationship here, kind of at a standstill. You still feel that connection with them here, but, oh, I, I'm just the messenger. I feel like somebody literally has said, but, you know, how much, how much longer, okay, basically. I feel for some, not all, that you're not going to pursue this any further here, that they are only trouble. Now, for some, I feel that they are with another person, a third-party situation here. I feel like you deep, deep down want them to come back to explain themselves, communicate to you, heal the situation with what they have to say. After quite a long extended battle here, I do feel that that is coming to an end. Now the battle is ending here of you making that final decision of withdrawing, um, you know, this relationship. You, you're either done or you're willing to put the effort into it. I feel half and half here, so it's not... Uh, you know, not everybody's going to go for leaving the situation. Others are going to manifest. So, but seriously, this week I feel for you guys is it's time to make that decision to show the action here in regards to a twin flame. Do you want them back or do you, or, or no, you know, kind of thing. And if they, if you want them to come back, start manifesting for their communication. But I do feel that that's going to be half and half here. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating situation to get this success. Uh, definite twin flame energy now with that emperor. I do feel for those of you that um, really manifesting here for this relationship, it will be successful with the emperor looking at that six of wands, which is victory here. So uh, it's all up to you. Free will, free choice, definitely. So that is what I have for the sign of Leo. Moving on to Aries. Could be dealing with a water sign here. You also have justice. I feel that regardless of sign, I feel uh, Aries is that somebody's been holding within how they really truly feel. I feel that uh, they could have ghosted you as well, but I do feel that that time is coming where they're going to make a choice, a decision here. They're really reflecting in their thoughts as to what to do, how to approach, how to go about it. They do love you here, and I feel like I literally heard I'm giving them the wrong first impression here of that I'm kind of closed off, but yet I don't know how to open them up, open up my feelings, my, express them, and I'm giving off the, the wrong vibes to you, okay? So it's basically, they know that it they're, through their lack of actions of expressing how they feel to you, you're almost feeling like they're not interested in you, in you. But I do feel that they are even more so with that sun. Sun is very positive. It's upbeat. And with that two of wands, they're making that choice to uh, move forward with this. Okay, show the action here. Whereas before, uh, they definitely want to put in this work. I also feel for whoever this is meant for. I can't tell you what to do, but I literally feel do not contact them. I literally heard that, so definitely just keep that in mind, but we all have free will, free choice. Yeah, you're going to get your wish fulfillment out of this for sure with this person, absolutely. So that is what I have. So definitely, yeah, so that's what I have for the sign of Aries. Moving on to Sagittarius. Somebody owes you an apology. Turning their back towards this relationship, not getting any uh, fulfillment anymore in regards to completion of love here. I feel that they really want to put in this work here, definitely. That was a different message. Okay, so this is weirdly put, but I'm just going to say what I heard. Somebody's in a third party, but not with a, like a an extra person. They're in love with themselves. <laughs> 
just the messenger. Uh, that's what I felt here. The meaning that their ego is a little high, okay, to come back and apologize and start things over again. I do feel that. You've been extremely stressed over this situation. Because I do feel that they, they ghosted you here and you've been battling with your mind, you know, trying to uh, figure out is it worth your time. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, you know, when they do return, are we just going to fight anyway here? Uh, energy wise but yeah they they're feeling sorry for themselves but uh to some degree but really their their ego is very high i've never heard it phrased like that before but yeah they're in a third party relationship with themselves is what i literally heard so interestingly put there i do feel that they are going to com uh, communicate to you i don't feel it's definitely in the air when i see feel the cards see the cards feel the energy of this spread um you know, it's definitely in the air, but you got the temperance following that page of uh, swords here. So there is going to be communication. Uh, this is a good time to kind of calm your energy, prepare for this for sure. But it's definitely in the air in regards to hearing from this person once again. So, wow, that is what I have for not just Sag, but for all the fire signs out there. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.